this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. Now, what I want to do is um, do a little intro for the next um, two, three videos coming up. And um, this is sort of related to the previous video that I put out, one of the previous videos that I put out uh, related to politics. I had some people ask me what my take was uh, regarding the most recent election. And I put out a video um, sort of giving my take on it. And uh, I talked about a fair bit about politics and mentioned that politics uh, cannot be thought of independently as economics, uh, from economics, right? So politics and economics have to be thought of as one system, one entity uh, together, right? And uh, after putting out the video, I had a certain amount of messages and some comments saying that uh, people would like to... Uh, have further discussion on the topic of politics right that i should make more videos like this um and i mentioned in that video that this was you know that was going to be the last uh, politics strictly politics video i was going to put out um because politics is really governed by economics and you can watch that video of uh, you know the terminology i use and where basically if we were thinking about politics economics one system it's really economics that rules our society right now governs or governs our our world right now right so you know i've been mentioning to people that i'm gonna approach politics through economics uh, uh, especially making a series for the language of mathematics uh, math and real life right talking about politics and economics and taking a look at some of the indicators some of the some of the variables some of the ratios and economics is really uh, and politics is really just understanding units and systems and your ratios right so because i had a fair bit of messages and comments uh asking me to do more videos like that um as i mentioned i'm not going to do any more strictly politics because uh sort of it's sort of it's not going to work because I'm sort of adding a small drop to the bucket, right? Because there's a lot of people talking about politics, um, sort of blowing into the wind, I guess, or yelling into the wind. What's that saying? Um, I think it's something else into the wind. Uh, and I and I have written a fair bit about politics. So if you want to take a look at um, my, my political take on things are, you could take a look at that video. And there's some articles that I linked up in the description. I'll probably supply in this description video as well. But what I want to do is I want to start our discussion on economics, okay? Um, and that's directly related to politics. So I'm going to hit up politics through economics. And I've sort of put out um, um, two, three videos. I haven't edited it yet. Uh, so I'm most likely going to split this up into three videos um, talking about economics. And I'm going to sort of... Uh, jump around when we start talking about the mathematics of economics and this is what we're really going to do we're going to look at the mathematics of economics and at some point later on we're going to create a math and real life series for that but because this is sort of um, being filed under asmr math i've given myself more and lean way to go on a lot more tangents for math in real life and the language of mathematics i really want to sort of just focus on one concept and zoom in on that and build content in segments instead of going on extended rants right but with asmr math i'm giving myself that lean way so what we're going to do is jump around the concept of economics a fair bit okay and the first uh, three concepts that i decided to start off with um the first one is going to be how we calculate um, uh, revenue, maximizing revenue, which is a concept that is introduced in my part of the world in grade 11 uh, when we start dealing with quadratic functions and stuff like this. So there's one video coming out uh, that's related. Uh, basically, we're taking a quadratic function and we're going to complete the square. We're going to graph it and we're going to take a look at you know what the numbers mean and what they're telling us about the economic system right the business model that we looked at right and i think you'll like the business model it takes me back to grade eight right uh so that's one video coming out um another video coming out is going to be sort of the concept of uh, how we should take a look at um 
our economic system right now in terms of established companies taking a certain amount of market share and innovation new companies popping up and challenging established companies and this concept is sort of referred to as uh, disruptive innovation and disruptive innovation has been around throughout history right uh, many disruptive technologies or innovations or even it comes into the political realm where new laws are passed where there's more competition added or laws are passed to prevent competition right monopoly keep monopoly practices so we're going to take a look at um, we're not really going to quantify it we're going to create a visualization to take a look at what disruptive innovation means and how it plays out in our society when it comes to politics and economics and um, the next concept we're going to take a look at is called differential accumulation and differential accumulation is a concept uh, more recent that's come up where basically it says that accumulation of wealth accumulation of capital accumulation of power right is really relative right is relative to the averages and is relative to the industry the people you're competing with right because our, our system is really based on our economic political system or education system unfortunately is based on competition not cooperation so differential accumulation really talks about accumulation of capital and how capital can really be looked at as power and how that power is accumulated over time specifically related to the law of averages okay at that the rate that me an individual a company a country a state accumulates power is really relative to how other individuals companies states countries are accumulating power right so if you don't accumulate power right capital at a higher rate than the averages then in the long run in the limit which is what the power of mathematics is right mathematics one of the most powerful thing that allows us to do is model a system and after modeling the system take this model extend this model to the limit and see what happens in the limit right and based on differential accumulation in the limit if you're not acquiring capital acquiring power right if you're not beating the averages then in the limit you lose all power and those who accumulate power accumulate capital right relative more relative to the averages then in the limit in the long run they obtain everything and in the long run really it if you extend this to the limit it turns out to a place where it takes us to a place where one thing one organization one entity controls everything right because through differential accumulation what happens is if you want to const constantly beat the averages if you're not constantly coming up with new innovation new techniques to do that what you need to do is do mergers and acquisitions is buy out smaller smaller companies that are coming up with differential accumulate uh, dif uh, disruptive innovation right so the net you know the last two videos or the second and third video the second and third concepts they're sort of related right they sort of overlap okay uh, so that's what we're gonna do in the next um, um, I guess three videos and that's sort of an extension of uh, the politics video that we put out that we talked about and that's the direction we're going to go uh, when we're talking about politics we're gonna specifically look at economics because economics governs everything right now in our society anyway unfortunately right uh that's it for now and i'll be doing um a lot more economics videos and we'll definitely take a look at some of the indicators when it comes to the markets and how our economic system is set up may it be pe may it be rho may it be whatever else right i will slowly you know in random at random anyway just take on a concept and put it together and at some point we'll come back for the language of mathematics and put it all together and make one coherent series when we talk about the mathematics economics right where how it all plays out and kick that into politics and look at some of the indicators of politics um, because politics is really mathematics as well right it's just ratios 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.